Welcome to Turn Writing Fear Around Podcast, simple methods to overcome fear and start writing again. I'm Elise Hittinger, and I'm the host for your journey to courage. This is episode 27, four easy steps for your first rides. I know for me, I had a challenge with my first rides. I didn't have a problem in the arena, but I definitely had a problem outside the arena. And my friends kept wanting to go trail riding and stuff. And then I moved to Kentucky with a beautiful farm and I had to find a way to be able to have those first rides outside the arena. So here's four easy steps that you can take to make your first rides just perfect. The first one is to set a plan. I knew my first ride was going to be four steps. And I didn't try and take 20. I didn't try and take 50. I took four steps. I got off and I celebrated. I set a plan and I executed it. The second thing is to know what will you do if things happen. I had a plan. If I got on and my horse walked, I was going to stop the horse and get off. If I got on and the horse spooked, I would get off. If I was going to get on and the horse's head was up and it was looking around, I was going to make sure that I had the horse quiet. I had a plan for what would happen if things happened. And I can tell you, I got on a horse. I got on Taka, actually, at the mounting block once. And a cat grabbed a baby bunny right under the mounting block. And I had a plan. I had a plan that if I got terrified, I was going to get off. But it ended up being one of our best rides because she was animated. I didn't have to kick her. So just have a plan. Have a plan for what you're going to do. Know what you will do if something happens. And then number three, I talked about this in the last podcast. Go just to the edge of your comfort zone and take one more step. So whatever that is for you, if it's 50 feet, that's your comfort zone and you want to go 100 feet, that's one step for you. Whatever it is for you, define ahead of time what your comfort zone is and do one step past that. And then the fourth one is from Warwick Schiller. And I just love this one. It's Donkey Kong. Your first rides back, make it like a video game. I love games. Okay, card games, video games, doesn't matter. But the best thing about playing video games is you go a little bit and then you have to start over. And you go a little bit further and you have to start over. And every time you play, you're repeating the same stuff, but you're learning a little bit more. And it's the same thing with our horses. You can get on your horse. You can ride four steps, turn around and go back to the mounting block. Ride 10 steps, turn around and go back to the mounting block. Ride 10 steps, do a figure eight, turn around and go back to the mounting block. Ride 10 steps, do a figure eight, ride 20 more steps, go back, do a figure eight, go back to the mounting block. So as you go out and you come back, you're just repeating everything. And guess what? You and your horse are going to learn so much communication if you really play with this. And so each time you get on, just play with going out and coming back and going out and coming back further and further, doing a little bit more and play with what happens when you move them off your left leg. What happens when you move them off your right leg? Go back to the beginning, move them off your left leg, move them off your right leg, then do a circle. Whatever it is for you, make it be some, some sort of a game that you can play with. So if you've enjoyed this, those are, again, four steps, set a plan, know what will happen, know what you will do if something happens. Go just to the edge of your comfort zone and take one step, and then play a game. Think of Donkey Kong. If you've enjoyed this, I have three ways to build courage with your horse as my free gift for you, and I'll put a link in the description. See you guys!